Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now in front of you, you can see a lot of sad faces. A couple of them are happy because we won this massive battle that we had in the previous episode. But the reason why everyone else is so sad is because one of our heroes, Francesco over here, is now dead. Unfortunately, we could not rescue him or look after him well enough. He was standing on the ledge over here and he... He fell to the enemy archer fire. Yeah, we definitely got a little a little too confident in the raid. So um, this is our first death in the in this colony. So I've been thinking for a little bit. I've, I've looked around the colony and um, we definitely need to have a proper burial for poor Francesco. And part of me, I was, I was thinking of maybe putting it out somewhere here. But when checking on what kind of graves do we have, then... This wouldn't be a proper burial for the uh, for our kingdom. What I think we should do is um, having a look at this over here. This limestone sarcophagus looks pretty pretty cool, and um, I think we should do it more like uh, like way back in Egypt, where we'll carve out this kind of like a tomb over here, and then we'll we'll have different burial. Uh, spots for if if we have any other fallen heroes hopefully hopefully no more but uh yeah that's what we're gonna do so let's resume the simulation and uh, we'll let everyone lick their wounds hopefully we're not gonna get another raid right after this one but uh yeah so that's gonna be our focus for this episode is to dig out the proper tomb for our fallen heroes and i definitely want to get this wall done now as well and probably try out a couple of uh, different towers on on top of our of of the defensive walls and if we have enough time maybe even take down those old inner walls that we that we have here because these are now the new inner walls the outer ones right now i know it's a little bit confusing and the outer ones uh, outer ones later will be somewhere along this hill so they'll stretch out quite a bit i know this is a massive building project but i think it will be pretty cool to have uh, another layer just to Get our, give our archers a little, or not just the archers, give our army a little bit more time to prepare when there's a, another raid coming in. But okay, that's the focus for today's episode. I'm gonna do a little bit of preparation, I'll let the, our settlers, the nobles, rest up a little bit, heal up, and then we'll be, we'll be back. Alright, so whilst we were very busy preparing our defenses and, and building the tomb, it seems it's time for another raid. So let's take a look at what do we have. Uh, how many bows? <laughs> I think we can see one, two, one long bow, one short, two short, two long, okay. Ah, oh, dear. I mean, there's been episodes where there's barely any raids and there's this one where there's just multiple. Do we still have... Okay, we got one crossbow, a couple of bows left. Okay, we've definitely got to be smarter this time. Uh, right. Which way are they coming? Straight from... Uh, from the west, it seems. So they're gonna... Come up this way. So how about we'll be a little bit smarter... This time. Figure out what's the best way... I guess we'll go up on those Merlons here. Yeah. Well, the arches are gonna be too far back. We'd like them to get a little bit closer. Maybe hide the... Uh, infantry or the melee people just behind these walls will try and get all their guys a little bit closer to us. They're most likely gonna go for our buyers. And once they're closer, we'll send the melees on the archers. We'll try and overwhelm them. Whilst our archers and ranged will take care of their melees. How many was it? Where are they again? Up here. There's 15 of them. Back to 12 for us. Okay. Right, let's do this. Draft everyone. And maybe you'll come to the courtyard. Now, our archers and all the ranged ones. If you guys... Mm, I'd like to have someone... No, we'll have you on the walls. Yeah, you guys go up to the walls, perhaps. 
and our our infantry let's see i'm sorry bixie but you're gonna be the bait this time okay we'll position them on the merlons right there like so quist over here does that mean no we still got the good looking gamer if you rally yourself there as well and then we got four infantries left here tim what are you you've got a oh, dagger right I guess the, after this raid, we're probably going to look at what sort of weapons we're wielding as well. Maybe it's time to change a few things around. Okay. Right. Can they get within our walls easily? Yes, they can. They can just walk through here. Right. I wonder how are they going to... Is it line of sight or do they just cheat and see through the walls? I wonder if we hide, let's say, right about there with all all of you lot let's see what happens to their pathfinding no some of them are still going towards there now oh, the wolves are here as well they're just migrating through okay i really want the archers to come as close as they can okay here we go no they are they are gonna go for the wall straight away fine now let's see, where are the archers going? Hmm, now it would be good to have actually our archers a little bit closer. They're not coming here anymore. Is anyone interested in going there at all? Don't think so. No. Wait. No, they still are. Okay, so that's good. Right, that's because two of them block this entry. The rest will still carry on going towards there. Okay, so in that case... We'll change it up a little bit. Curious if you stand there. Okay, a little bit better. And their arches are coming through. Okay. Got one here, melee. It's starting to trickle through. Let's have a look. You're gonna attack the good looking gamer, uh, which means you're gonna go up the stairs. Right. Let's see if we can pick them off. From the distance oh no he's not he's standing out there fine coist if you're gonna maybe perhaps attack hanking the two of you let's see we've got another edwin okay they're going for pixie that's uh great in a way don't get me wrong pixie i would like you guys to start shooting edwin please pixie maybe you just hide behind this corner here Okay, perfect. Now, okay, these walls are still standing. We'll try and get a few more hits in. You might not too worried about those spires. Shoot him, please. You're still shooting the archer. Right, now is a good time. Let's get out here. I'm really worried for those archers. Pixie, maybe you'll just kite a little bit. Run there. Oh, Kuis took the first hit on our end. On our side. Uh, Hankin is down. Bolly, who are you targeting now? Let's have a look. Can we take down another archer? Let's take Wilhelm. Uh, over here, Katarina. Beautiful. And these two are still over there. Okay, so that's fantastic. Greg, that was a massive, massive hit. Uh, let's try and get you out. Where is Greg? Greg, you're going to have to fall back a little bit. No, actually. Just fall back altogether. Uh, Bixie, you're wielding a sword sword as well. Okay, cool. We can probably bring you out this way. Uh, another archer is down. That is fantastic. Kuist. Okay, what we'll do is let's swap. Uh, you're shooting Edwin. You as well. How about this guy instead? And we'll get Kuis to help out with this lot there. Polly, who are you shooting right now? I think the archers are... Yeah, you probably can't shoot anymore. Maybe this guy over here. Another one of theirs is down. Ooh, they are through our, our outer layers already. Uh, but that is okay. Greg, just hang around for, for a little bit. Right, is what are we shooting? Nope. Let's take 
some of these guys that are closer, like this one that's full health. And maybe you can do the same. Okay. Things are starting to look a little bit better. Now, I think we should also... Let's see if we can target them. Go and shoot this guy. Nope. Go and stand there, please. And how many out here? Just a couple left. Okay, Florence, you can probably station yourself there. Oh, wait, we should have done that straight away. Not straight away, but a little bit early, earlier. We'll send a couple of archers towards there. Uh, I think uh, melee is the way to go. So, Pixie, onto this guy. And Greg, maybe you as well. Right, Polly. I think they are going to retreat very soon. So if you would like to station yourself there. And there is one stuck here, it seems. Oh, William is out there. Right, Kuist, you're shooting him. That is great. Actually, if you could shoot him as well, that would be fantastic. Look at that. Straight from behind. Hasn't even noticed. Not the hit in. He's still focused on the door. Let's hide the trees so we can actually see. Where are you off to, buddy? I don't think he's noticed that his whole team is down. Okay, good looking gamer. Take this one down. How we? Yes, we have won this battle here. And now just keep on shooting, boys. Wally. Uh, no, just stand there. Here we go. Focus your fire on Andrew. Is there still one that's running on this side? No, it seems to be good. Ooh, all right. Well, that's uh, everyone done. Well done, boys. Much better than last time. Uh, I'm actually very relieved that no one died. I think, um, yeah, probably should have done the same thing last time little bit more effort into this um, we definitely um, yeah lost a bit of focus anyways we've won this battle now let's take a look at the tomb as well we can finally see where Francesco is right it is nearly done we just ran out of a bit of metal but here is the tomb for Francesco and uh, Although you've fallen, you shall not be forgotten, Francesco. And just in preparation for... Oh, that color shift was pretty savage, but uh, okay, let's have a look. We've got another plot in here as well. I'm hoping no one else is going to go down. However, you'll never know, so we do have another plot here. If anyone else should fall. But okay, so that's our little graveyard or a, or a tomb for, for our warriors. We'll finish uh, tidying this up a little bit. But uh, now it's time to look at our layers. We didn't really have too much time to fix anything else and carry on improving this, unfortunately. But we'll try and put a couple more walls in and then, uh, then we'll see how far we can get. And whilst doing a little bit of housekeeping, moving things around and creating a temporary, well, a new temporary storage, we have a new settler that would like to join our colony. Let's have a look. What is... Um, <laughs> what do we have? Construction zero, but has a passion in it. Speechcraft and cooking animal handling. Well, doesn't matter what it is. We'll take you in. And perhaps... Uh, well, it is a female. But I was thinking we could even call it Francesco Jr. Yeah just to bring your spirit back to back to our colony but uh, I guess I will we'll hear from you Francesco if you'd like to have your son or daughter join our kingdom and I promise we'll make sure we'll look after them better than we did uh, look after you right so what's been happening to be honest we've been just cleaning this up we had to make a few extra buyers just to get rid of the, all those corpses. And, and now we're we just got so much stuff that we had to create a new temporary storage unit here. Because we would like to remove everything here so that we can carry on building our beautiful castle walls. So that's going to happen. I'll let the settlers carry on with this. We'll probably have to relocate this little 
church area and in the future we'll definitely build a proper church for them. But for now, we'll just relocate those shrines and well, yeah, so that we can just finish this wall at least. Well, when it rains, it pours. It seems we have yet another raid on our hands. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. What do we have? Honestly, well, let's pause it for a second. I'll show you what we have or how far at least we are. The walls, we managed to deconstruct most of the old stuff in here. There's a little bit left. Just putting in place some more Merlons. And yeah, that's the side we've focused most on. And uh, it's starting to look pretty, pretty nice, actually. If we go into photo mode. Now, that's not bad at all. It's a little laggy in this mode. There we go. Uh, of course, we are going to get rid of those inner inner ones as well, just for your uh, reference. So it's the outer, outer ones, the current outer ones that are going to be the inner ones. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at our raiders. What do we have? We've got a couple of long bows there. A short bow. Okay, a few daggers. Two short bows, it seems. Two long ones. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm sure we can figure our defenses out. And you know what? Let's uh, try and grab as many as we can. Did we get everyone... I guess we'll find out. And if you could all please make your way there. Uh, all we wanted to do was try and finish this build in this episode. But it's not looking like the those ancient gods want us to have any peace at all. Okay, I think our army is pretty much ready. Enemies have started their attack. And I think we can have a better look now. Yeah, a couple of bows at the back. Okay, okay. We could try, let's see, which way are you going? Around and there, but they're gonna get stuck in here. What we could do, perhaps, maybe a sneak attack? Okay, so two are gonna get stuck here, everyone else is gonna come to this side. Now it actually would be cool to have some uh, bits that do stick out, so we could take them around the corner, but let's see. I guess we could, again, try those Merlons here, and then they have to retreat pretty far if we have to retreat. Okay, I guess we'll, uh, let's, let's have a look. Our crossbows should have a slightly higher range than they have. So let's give this a try. We got Polly and Kuist. Please station yourselves right up there. And then our melee force will stand by. Did we get all the bows? Potato. Oh, Potato S has a crossbow as well. So why don't you get it, get up there? And yeah, everyone else, please stand by. Maybe we'll bring you in somewhere there. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. Really hoping to pick a few off from the distance. Especially the, uh, the people with bows. Right. Good looking gamer is in position. Let's take a look. Anyone with a bow here? No, it's just some daggers. But there is a bow coming from there. Great. What about Bolly? You might have a slightly higher range. Now, which one of them has a bow? Let's give it a try. I think it is Scott. Yep, Archer. Right, so you're gonna shoot at him. And we did have another crossbow here as well, so let's do the same. Two crossbows might get him down. Let's give it a try. No, he evaded both our shots. Okay, that's fine. A few misses. And someone is getting ready, Audric. Okay. How about the three of you start firing at him? Okay, we have a few shots, confirmed shots over there. Great. Oh, now what's happening here? What are you guys up to? Get over there, and you get over there. Oh, good looking gamer took a hit. Okay, that's alright. I think we've got someone down already. Yep, there's a bow on the floor. Uh, what are you guys shooting at? Okay, three of you. This archer there, and we'll have Bolly and Potato. You shoot at Goodwin. Florence. Was there another 
he actually help out with this one. Okay, Goodwin is almost down. We've taken uh, just one hit. Great, and you're all still targeting them over there. Oh, that's a nice hit. Just one more. Where are you guys off to? Okay, you're going for that door. Well, that's fine, I suppose. This means I uh, will let them walk off a little bit further. Now, if we could all... Oh, uh, no, there isn't enough space, it seems. How about we all get in there? That might not be my brightest of ideas, but let's take a look. Actually, never mind. Let's put our archers just over there. And a couple will bring you over onto these walls. And I think with a few of you, we, I really want to get rid of these guys. They're banging on our doors. So let's bring our most of our melee force towards there. Right, do we have archers in position? Are you guys able to shoot them? Not really. What about now? No, okay. Change of plan. Off you go. We'll just leave a couple here. Potato, you can have another shot at this. Oh, okay. That seems to be working pretty well. Florence, I'd like you to join us over, over there. Oh, they're going after our pirates again. Of course they are. Now, indoors, yeah. Maybe we'll... Does anyone have a shield? Does not look like so. So we'll do something like this. Drake, maybe you can take a step forward as well. That would be nice. And Florence just over there is good enough. And you know what? I think it's time to attack Sigmund over here. Surprise. Beautiful. Right, over you go. And the three of you here, right? Uh, potato as well, please. Okay, everyone else, make your way outside. We're going. We're going in. These doors, this one's almost down, but... Yep. We'll do a bit of a surprise as well. Open the door, couple of hits, and you guys are going around. Okay, well, that's fine. And we'll move forward now. It's only three of us here. But we'll just mop up. Come on, where, where are you guys off to? Tim. Get this guy. Katarina over there. And I like our archers because I know we're about to get victory. If you could please shoot this guy over there. Polly, perhaps same with you. And who else is up here? Kuist. There we go. Start shooting. Tim, what are you looking Get in there. Victory is ours. Now, let's mop up the mess, please. All of our archers, fire this guy. Ooh, there's no way he's running off. And if we could also, please, everybody, get in there. And here we go. Okay. Ooh. Wow. That was another big one. Honestly, it feels this whole episode has just been getting raided. Uh, what was it? One, two? At least two times already? As soon as I start put my focus onto construction projects, it just seems we get distracted again. Right, all we gotta do now, let's just mop up this mess. There's bodies and stuff everywhere. Did they? Ah, oh, they destroyed all of those spires again. It's a little bit annoying, but at the same time, it's also kind of good to have them there. So they get a little bit distracted, but I guess in the future we'll have something to distract them outside and maybe a few spires indoors as well. Okay, well, that was quite a big episode. I know construction-wise, we have not gotten as much done as we would have liked to, but... Those fights have been pretty intense, so I think we're gonna call an episode here and uh, I hope in the next one we'll be able to get some more construction done as well. And maybe maybe a bit, bit of less raiding. I guess it sort of makes sense. In the previous episodes I was always wishing for another, another raid so, just so we can get some more materials, clothes and things. But now uh, I think it would, be, it would be nice if we get a bit of a break. I think we have enough material, so whoever's sending those raids out, I think it's fine to stop now. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a lot of fun. If you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Other than that, see you in the, in the next episode. <laughs>